Hi everyone, Bandana here. I hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to the second of this week's Warner Dev Blogs, looking at the North Egg Divisions. Today is Division Number Six, the Polish Fourth Mechanized Infantry Division. The Fourth Zmech, for short, was originally formed in the Sumy region of Ukraine by communist forces in 1944 as the Fourth Pomeranian Infantry Division. It was one of the first Polish units to take the oath on Polish territory. The formation's patron was Jan Kalinski, a historical Polish soldier who commanded the Warsaw Uprising in 1794 against the then Russian garrison. The 4th Infantry Division fought heavily on the Pomeranian Front. It ended World War II on the Elbe River and, in the post-war years, was integrated into the Polish People's Army to be reorganized as the 4th Mechanized Pomeranian Division in 1962. In November 1966, the division was upgraded from a cadre-filled peace formation to a full combat readiness, which included a sizable increase in both material and manpower. New support units were formed, with the division becoming part of the First Line Southwestern Silesian Military District. Am I pronouncing that right? This was one out of three military districts, until the end of the Cold War. The two Western military districts would form a combined arms or tank army in times of war and within Warnow this is represented as the Polish Second Army. The division was part of the Communist Polish People's Army or Ludoj Wojcik Polski, the LWP. Did I pronounce that anywhere near right? I doubt it. During the Cold War, the Poles formed by far the largest ground force outside of the Soviet Army, of course, of the Warsaw Pact nations. However, there were always doubts by the Soviet Union's leadership about the Polish willingness to join the communist cause in wartime. Fueled by history and Polish reluctance in joining internal Warsaw Pact operations, such as the Prague Spring in 1968. Economic crises and martial law in the early 1980s disrupted civilian life in Poland and further repression by internal security forces instigated by Warnow's alternative USSR Troika ensured the Polish loyalty needed in their 1989 war. That's a long history section for this one. The Polish People's Army was well equipped with the Soviet Army's export vehicles and weaponry, plus a decent amount of domestic designs, ensuring that the People's Army was a fighting force to be reckoned with. Its conscript soldiers in the late Cold War were considered professional, including its top officer corps. The Polish Army was, and still is to this day, held in great regard by the Polish nation due to its long and proud military history and tradition. Okay, so a little bit more detail. As a non-Soviet Warsaw Pact Mechanized Infantry Division, the 4th Zmech shares similarities with the East German 4th MSD. Immediately apparent is the shared reliance on the T-55, including upgraded variants, as the main battle tank and, no surprise here, the BMP-1, known as the BWP-1 in Polish service, as its primary IFV. However, the Polish army did feature some unique elements. For instance, it didn't use the Soviet-made BTR-60 or 70 wheeled APCs, but instead relied on Czechoslovakian and Polish Scott wheeled APCs, although the basic version of this vehicle shared similarities with the Soviet examples, further development and variants diverged significantly. Another example is that the Poles didn't rely on T-55s capable of barrel launching ATGMs. Instead, they developed some extremely accurate fire control systems for this older generation tank, the famous Meridia. I think I'm pronouncing that right, that's certainly how we'd say it in English. Anyhow, this turned the Polish T-55 into undoubtedly one of the best and most deadly T-55 upgrades of the time. All Polish mechanized and armored divisions relied on Light Special Forces Company for reconnaissance purposes. Furthermore, Polish foot soldiers were equipped with RPG 7VMs as the squad's best anti-tank weapon, never buying the single-shot RPG 18 or the RPG 22. Instead, they developed their own version, the Komar, which was definitely not one of the best Polish inventions to come out of the late Cold War. The Poles didn't really trust the magazine-fed 5.56mm light machine guns, they stuck to the older, heavier belt-fed 7.62mm, which they fielded at great numbers at platoon level. More than one machine gun per squad. This translates to less anti-tank, but more anti-infantry power. The main truck of the Polish was the domestic Star 266. That's a very random sentence, it doesn't really go anywhere. Then they go on to say, Polish Jubarty was famous for being one of the most obsolete in all the Warsaw Pact armies, still relying a lot on refurbished World War II era towed guns. The only change being the replacement of the old wheels for more modern tyres. 
As for rotorcraft, Poland developed many variants of the lighter Mi-2 helicopter, some of which can already be encountered in the East German armies in Warno. They went even further and designed their own, the W-3W-SOKOL. I wish they then explained a little bit about that helicopter there. Anyhow, so what will be in each of the tabs? Well, in logistics, it's an average category. Players will be able to field the usual array of supply units, from the FOB to the light gas 66 and the heavy Kras 255B trucks. Command units will include the Scrot R2M, the BWP 1K3 armored vehicles, as well as the light MI2. I am not even going to attempt to pronounce that word. Let's leave it at they get a command helicopter. The division gets a very good infantry category with lots of new infantry options. The regular Polish infantry come in two variants. The first is a seven-man mechanized infantry squad, which is apparently pronounced Piota, or so the Polish person saying it on Fovo claims. And that's the Zemek squad. They are already in the game of the East German special Rugner Gruppierung, deployable with a BWP-1. They represent one-third of the division's infantry. The second variant is a motorized infantry squad with the same name, but without the ZMAC attached to it, riding into battle on either a Scott 2, which has a HMG 12.7mm, or the Scott 2A, which has dual HMG 14.5mm and a light 7.62mm machine gun. These are all new units, they represent the remaining two-thirds of the divisional infantry and come in three distinct variants. First up is a basic nine-man squad with assault rifles, a PKM, and an RPG 7VM. The second one is an SVD squad, being ten-man rather than nine, with assault rifles, two PKMs, and one SVG, and an RPG 7VM. They represent the one out of three squads per platoon that receive a platoon-assigned DMR and extra PKM. And then finally, there is the DOW variant, which is an eight-man leader squad with assault rifles, one SVD sniper rifle, Komar, and smoke grenades. The new Polish combat engineers are featured in three flavors, the DOW Sapper Z, which is command, the standard Sapper Z, which is explosive, and the Sapper Z... 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 Moe? It's got a flamethrower. I have no idea how to pronounce that word. And they are deployable on either the MTLB or the Scott 2 APCs. You know, I met a Polish guy at a local supermarket recently who was working on the tills. Maybe I should go back and ask him to pronounce all these words for me. Anyhow, anti-tank squads include the new Druziana PPANC tank hunters, which are the Polish counterparts of the East German Panzerjäger, and field the RPG 7VL, only available to them as a courtesy of the March to War timeline. In real life, they didn't field this particular RPG variant. Other weapon teams will include the regular SPG-9 recordless rifle, the PPK Conkers ATGM, a special new transport is the Scott 2AM which features a BMD-2 turret with two Malutka M's on its sides. Military police can be deployed as the new WSW squads. A special wartime attachment will be some elements of the I'm not even going to try to pronounce that, but basically the 1st Special Forces Battalion operating at the Polish 2nd Army level. These will include the new Commandosi, a 6-man Special Forces Commando Squad with Tantal Assault Rifles, 2 PKMs, an RPG 7VM and smoke grenades. They can deploy in either new Honka 4011 aka a Polish Humvee, the new W3 SOKOL Light or the MI8 Rocket Heavy Helicopters. Artillery is an average to good amount of slots, but with the selection of rather old units. These include artillery guns, which were the Soviet-made M43 120mm mortars, the new HWZ 1938-85 122mm, which I think they're saying are the same as the Soviet M30. And then there are the new WZ 1937-85 152mm Todd Howitzers. All of these are World War II vintage. They do have much more modern MLRS systems with the BM-21 Grad or the new RMWZ-70-85. Okay, and in the tank tab there's a good amount of slots with the 4th ZMAC, fielding two variants of the older generation T-55. The T-55A, the old timer variant, which is the same as the East German version, comes with both vanilla and command versions. The T-55AM Meridia, which is already featured in the Rugner Gruppierung, with a greatly improved FCS, which translates to a 2275 meter gun, 
with 60% accuracy and 50% motion stabilizer, also in either plane or command versions. I should know FCS in that case stands for fire control system, I believe. Anyhow, both of the above tank versions come in an unusual S variant, the new T-55AS and the T-55AMS respectively. These tanks support two PWLWD land clearing rocket charges, which is the same as the East German coffin launcher, aka the Puritino, as fielded by the East German SPW-50PK-MRF in the Rugena Gruppierung battle group. Dedicated anti-tank vehicles are the UAZ 469 FA GOT and the BRDM 2 Maluta P 80 GM carriers and the new D 4885mm gun, which is similar to the existing D 44 but packing a heavier punch. This is turning out to be quite a long dev blog. Anyhow, recon tab. A good category for this division with lots of choice. The infantry scouts are divided into four man, I think you pronounce this as Zero Dowsy, riding into battle on the UAZ 469 or a recon transport, the OT-65. There's the eight-man Sapazi Zawodowski squads in the BAV-485 amphibious truck, basically a World War II era DUKW, or the tri recon transport, MTLB. And finally, a seven-man Zemot Zawodowski squad, which I assume is Zawodowski, but shortened, uh, in a recon transport, the ROSPB. WP-1 IFV. All units except the UAZ Jeep and Recon BMP-1 are new. As previously mentioned, each Polish division had its own Special Forces Recon Squad in Honka 4011 and Honka RYS Recon Transports, the latter equipped with a 12.7mm HMG. Again, these are all new units. Dedicated armoured recon vehicles on the new BRDM-1 PSNR-1 with ground radar and a BRDM-2 armoured car. Light recon helicopters include the new unarmed MI-2RO Bazant and the armed MI-2US. The anti-air tab is an average number of slots but with some new options. The standard Strazala 2M, which is a man pad and available in a dedicated new Scott 2 APC, which while armed with a single 14.5mm is equipped with a special AA capable turret featuring anti-aircraft rangers. This allows it to engage aerial targets. Towed guns include the ubiquitous ZU-23-2, plus its Polish upgraded cousin, the new ZUR-23-2S GOD, with a slightly improved accuracy and featuring two slapped-on Strela-2 missiles. There will also be the new Hibernert... Where? H-I-B-N-E-R-Y-T. A bit more sense to me if the Y was on the end. And also the same thing, but with KG at the end. These are self-propelled variants of the above towed 23mm guns mounted on the Star 266 trucks. The main divisional SAM will be the 9K33 OSA AKM. Okay, so what about the helicopter tab? Well, this is a pretty good category for the 4th ZMEC with a large array of helicopters, such as the domestic variants of the light MI2 gunship, including the MI2 Urn ZMIGA, which is a 23mm gun and 57mm rockets, the MI2 URP Salamandra with 23mm gun and four Maluta M80 GMs, and the MI2 URPG GNIEWOSZ, I don't even know how to pronounce that, with a 23mm gun, four Maluta M80 GMs, four Strela 2 AA missiles. Well, that one has quite a lot out, and these are all new units, they say. Backed by the usual complement of the MI-24D and the MI-24W, the Soviet MI-24V equipped with the Yak-B gun, four Kong Kong missiles, and 96 57mm rockets. I think that means the last one, the W version. Can I just apologise to any Polish people, by the way? I don't speak any Polish. I've never interacted with that many Polish people, so I don't have a grasp of the language, the accent, how to say the words, or how the pronunciation works whatsoever. I've only known a handful of Polish people in my life, and all of them spoke English. Weirdly, while I still pronounce them wrong a lot of the time, I find the Russian words a little bit easier to say, because I guess they're the bad guys in a lot of movies, so I tend to hear the accent more. Anyhow, AirTab. 
The Divisions Air support is a bit more average in terms of slots and choices. The MiG-23 MF in two distinct variants provides the battle group's air cover. Ground support, on the other hand, is the domain of the Su-22M4 in cluster AT and HE payloads. The 4th Z-Mech is a versatile and well-rounded mechanized infantry division. It might lack heavy or particularly high-tech equipment, but there is no clear chink in its armor and will perform well in either offensive or defensive operations. That is everything for this week's dev blog. Taking a break next week from the North Ag divisions, instead they're going to focus on the expansion's new map, Railway. Thank you very much everyone for watching. That was a long one. There was a lot of history with this one, never mind everything else. I hope you all have had a great week and I hope you enjoy your weekend and I will see you all soon.